Okay. And the drop price down, so that we have to turn. Yeah. So. And I'm still working out how to uh, do that. Okay. But I, um, you know, the natural sequence of it going uh, from supine and then uh, collapse mm -hmm. and then ending in C, so I can do this thing. I'm still working on that transition to C. Um, a lot of times, um, uh, you know, I might just ask you to come up, but we'll see. I'm still working on it. So uh, grab a hold, please. And up now. So relax. So now, you know, seated position is uh, important for a lot of reasons because it's such a strong diagnostic position, right? And you can ask the person, uh, place your arms on the outside of your hips and just fold forward as much as you can. Okay, so take a look at come over and look at self uh, as he's doing this. And what are some of your impressions of how his body is taking uh, this movement? Not very happy. No. Not very happy, did you say? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, listen. Not very happy? Not very good. Okay, why not so happy? Why not so happy? Why not so happy? Exactly. And where do you see the stress, anybody? Yeah, right now. Right. Yeah, right there. Okay. <laughs> so uh, here, here, and move your arms to the side a little bit. Now, if you get any lifting, but the knee starts coming off the ground, that's tight hamstring. Right? Yeah. If he falls forward and his legs come off like this a little bit, tight hips. Right? So forward, forward fold is really good for diagnostic, right? You put them in motion, right? You know, stagnant diagnosis is goofy. You put them in motion, see how their body reacts to it. So uh, now we know a little tight hamstrings, uh, uh, some here and here. So one thing I would say is, uh, sit down a second. I'll just move you forward a little bit more. So his knee's not so bad, right? Mm -hmm. No, so that's, uh, even though it's a little tight, that's not a concern, because the degree that it's coming off, not so much. And his legs aren't drifting out to the side, so his hips are okay. Uh, but this here, right? So then why wouldn't you focus your attention along with bringing forward fold, the pressing here, right? Do you feel here? Mm -hmm. how, how could you feel here? But how, you know, you, if you want to bring them forward, you want to use your body weight to lean in, right? If you're doing this, and since it's tight here, you can place elbows here and go in like this just to loosen, right? I'm sorry? How does it open your hamstrings? Um, fine. Okay. You, you can tell by the lift of his knees aren't coming off so much. Okay. So, so this, how come when he pulled into a forward, he really didn't go as deep? But no one was pressing. Well, I mean, you just took the sort of folded over. And he stopped. Without even pressing. And he stopped her. And he went much further than just the Nothing. No? It came right to there. It, it, felt, it felt for me harder to begin folding my hands right at my sides. Ah. Okay. But when I bring them, I'm sorry. Oh, when they I bring them right, forward, right, 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 So you like to <coughs> So you can try this, because this is nice for losing this area. <coughs> The elbow section. So we did the knee section. I want to make sure we did a little elbow. Okay, so. Yeah. And you know, you can depress the head, right? Mm. You can depress the head, right? Now, um, you can also, as I showed in here, if you sustain pressure, you can come like this. And again, spine. Sit at the top of the shoulder and let the weight move forward. How's that feeling? It feels great. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> Same. It's fantastic. Your pelvis is less. If you're working on someone and you want to uh, have sustained pressure but uh, they're having a hard time supporting, you can do this, right? Stack a bunch of pillows here. Now you can do all sorts of things, right? You're completely liberated. 
with them on what you can do because they have support. They get rigor mortis really quick. So this is nice for sustained compression. If you're working on someone and they have tight lower back, if um, you're working on someone and they have uh, sit up for a second, so, tight hamstring, you put this underneath, right? So they can have sustained uh, fold. Sustained fold, very good. Very limbering for the spine. Stretches, the, opens the hips, opens the hamstring, stretches here. So it's a very dynamic stretch, especially when you apply a little pressure forward. Next, what I showed um, is a series of rotations. So uh, sit with your leg just in a simple position, however, fold it. Not that simple. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a couple of variations. There's a lot of ways of doing rotation. Um, the one I showed was this, I believe, where they do this, interlock your finger, and you stabilize this side, grab here, and then just rotate this way. Just turning your body. You okay, so? Yes. And for this to work properly, you're stabilizing here, because if not, whoop, right? <laughs> that's why you're stabilizing. And also, as you're reaching down, you lift up to decompress the vertebra, and then rotate. And if you come over here, come over here, everyone. Except the people who are hung over, and it seems like too far of a walk to walk. <laughs> Again, understandable. Um, this leg also, this knee here, this knee here helps because you're going like this with the knee. The knee is helping with the rotation. Okay, so this. That's one way and then the other. Right? Now, in this situation, it, uh, you know, you get some nice rotation, but it's dissipated be before it goes that deep. So what you want to do, one, another way of doing rotation is this. Um, you put your knee right up against the sacrum, right? And oh, come around this way. <laughs> get dizzy. <laughs> Sorry for making you want to learn something. I feel so bad now. <laughs> okay, so check this out. Knee is right up against the sacrum, and that locks that in. So then when you add rotation, the rot uh, it's going to go further down. So like this, like this, like this, and like this. Ooh. Oh, nice. That is good rotation. Look at that. <laughs> Just like my hand used to pinch the masseter. <laughs> <laughs> um, so think about that. That's awesome. You know, that first one is a good rotation, but it's up higher, and a lot. some of the energy is dissipated. But when you lock the sacrum in with your knee right up against the sacrum, and this leg is here to stabilize that side of the pelvis so when you rotate, it doesn't come up. This here, here, and you're pushing at the back of the scapula. So you have nice contact. And you just inhale and exhale. And this is what it looks like on the other side. Locking in, putting this, put, put here, put up here, up, inhale. So uh, let's just do that much. 